about to tell you today, maybe I don't suppose to. That is our little secret. But I want you to know. God Almighty gifted Prophet T.B. Joshua. He gave him his gift. And he was willing to share with others. He was willing to share with others. So he teaches. He nurtures. He instructs. Really, God Almighty gifted senior prophet T.B. Joshua. If that gift to prophet T.B. Joshua wasn't from God. Prophet T.B. Joshua wouldn't have shared it with anybody. All these uh, evangelists, you know, uh, prophets of T.B. Joshua, they wouldn't have known the secret. Because the, the, the gift was from God. The gift was really from God. God Almighty gave it to him. As uh, Pastor Evelyn Joshua said, it was given to him by God. That is why you saw Prophet TB Joshua shared the gift with those that was very close to him. He did not keep this secret from those who are close to him. He never. To all who are close to him, they were never in dark concerning this. And it's a life of dedication. Life of discipline. Devotion. In prayer to God. Why wouldn't the scorn for brothers be blessed? They are blessed because they followed the footsteps of uh, senior prophet T.B. Joshua. They inherited prophet T.B. Joshua's footsteps. And therefore, there's no way they will not be blessed. As Pastor Evelyn Joshua said, uh, she read Galatians chapter 6. Verse 7, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. So whatever a man soweth, so shall he reap. Prophet T.B. Joshua taught these evangelists, even the ones that are no longer in Synagogue Church of All Nations, the way of God. And there is no way they would depart from it. They were shown the right way. And there is no way they would depart from it. Really, the scorn for brothers were so lucky to be mentored by senior prophet T.B. Joshua. As Mama Evelyn Joshua said, Prophet T.B. Joshua was gifted by God. He shared the gift to others. He didn't keep it to himself. He shared it with those that were close to him. Prophet T.B. Joshua worked for his gift. Prophet T.B. Joshua did what pleases God. And that was why the gift was given to him. That is what we're seeing. I just want us to be afraid of God. Let us fear God. Because you can't be God. We are not God. He does as he will. My people, let us fear God. Let us fear God. There's no way we can be God because if it's possible, some people would have loved to be God. 
But it's not possible. It is not possible. There is no one like him. You can never be like him. And that is why he is God. God is no man. God can never be you. He is only one, just one God. Powerful God. All other gods, they are rubbish. He is the only existing God. Let us fear him. My people, let us fear God. Fear God. And who, and whoever God has blessed, my people, we could not just follow that person rejoice. Because your own time will come. One day your time will come. Those evangelists, God has blessed them through their hard, through their hard labor. They worked for it. You see me and you, seven days a week we chop. This one's not be every day where they chop. Oh. Then they pray. Then they fast. Eh? They know the inter sin. As some of us, they jump into sin every day. Those kind of people, you need to be, they give them respect. They are not your, your mates. Eh? My people, let us fear God. Let us have Christ-like life. Christ-like behavior. As you just heard what Mama Evelyn Joshua said, the evangelists of TB Joshua, they work very hard. Those people work very hard. They are not just called uh, evangelists in vain. They deserve it. Therefore, let us also respect them. Give them respect. Those people coming out to pray for you every time, respect them. What I'm about to tell you today, maybe I don't suppose to. That is our little secret. But I want you to know. The evangelists, the young men that pray for you, that are touching you today, things are happening. They are the people that went to Zambia and the windows, the door of heaven was opened. And it rains. <laughs> Miracle. Name it. Healing. Deliverances. At a time I asked them, please, can you give out? Just give them the sticker. That is people outside the gates. And people we are falling under anointing. <laughs> what evidence do you want? What evidence, again, do you want that God is alive, Christ is alive, and he does as he will? A little secret that I'm about to tell you, you know, I've just told you, life of Prophet T.B. Joshua was never a secret to all who are close to him. When this young man joined me in this mission, from that very day to now, how many days do we have in a week? Seven days. They eat four days. The other three days is the quiet time with God. And we thank God for answering prayer. I put God in front In front of my destiny It's all that matters is all that matters. I put God in front, in front of my melody. Is all that matters. Is all that matters. I put God in front, in front of my destiny. 
He's all that matters. He's all that matters.